you want to get rich with me? Because earlier this year, I made a spec commercial for the brand Liquid Death, which jumpstarted a whole CGI beverage freelance run. And let me tell you, I think I've caught the hustle culture, entrepreneur, billionaire, doggy dog, get a job, all you homeless fucks bug. You know the bug I'm talking about. So I want to break down one of the projects I recently finished up and show you once again how to make a great looking beverage commercial in free open source software Blender. The brand is Mellow Water. The water is red. First, we started with storyboards. In the Liquid Death spec ad, I kind of winged it, but not on this one, I gotta be professional. I'm not the best illustrator, but I just scribbled together some rough frames in Photoshop based on discussions we had with the client. Once that was approved, the same can asset from the Liquid Death spec was used and retextured to create the Mellow Water cans. I used a particle system on the surface of the cans to create condensation like last time, but this time I also added a condensation roughness map texture in the mix. Three of the unique aspects of this commercial was the fresh fruit that was featured, seeing the inside of the beverage can, and experiencing a joyous island full of animated fruit characters and foliage. Yeah, easy, right? Watermelon is a big part of the brand along with a few other fruits, so I knew I was gonna have to create those assets. So I used images of watermelon slices and the peel as one big texture and created rounded triangle things and slapped the UVs around until I had some watermelon slices. Adding a noise node on top of the image texture gave me some great bump to add to the watermelon as well. Subsurf scattering transmission seeds were looking good. I followed the same techniques to create some of the other fruits like a passion fruit and a pineapple. We wanted the spot to feature fruit characters enjoying Mela Island, so I gave them very simplified arms and legs with edges and vertices, and then I thickened their freaky little appendages with the skin modifier. After the addition of sunglasses to fit the tropical environment, I created IK systems for the hands and feet and puppeteered the characters using auto keyframing. It's quick, it's dirty, but gives these little guys some soul. And it's kind of fun. They're enjoying their time before being blended into delicious beverages. What more could you want? The watermelon chunks I created were also going to be added to the beverage can scenes to really drive home that watermelon origin stories. So I duplicated them a bunch, used the floor as a collider, and deployed the rigid bodies. Ah, juicy, fresh, inviting. For one of the scenes, we talked about diving into the can, which takes us to the Mellow Water Island. But we need to see the red Mellow Water in the can, so I used a displacement modifier on a Boolean cylinder to create the wavy liquid-like material on the inside of the can. I created a particle system with the Mellow Water droplets for the inside of the can as well, because I think that's what an inside of a can looks like. Which brings us to Mella Island. The transition from the can to the island are two separate shots. I cut a hole in the back of the can and used a mat to bridge the two shots together. The island was created using island rock and palm tree assets from Turbo Squid. I sculpted the island to fit what I wanted, then used a mellow water tinted plane to add the pinkish pool throughout the island. I scattered the island with foliage and moss and vines from the Turbo Squid assets, along with some stuff from Ian Hubert's Patreon assets to break up the monotony of the island rock. I used some of the same rocks to create more floating islands around the main island to give it a bit more depth. I created a large neon billboard using curves and emission shaders traced around the Mellow Water logo to create a central focal point on the island. All of the fruit characters were spread throughout the island and beach chairs and inflatables. They're on vacation. Look how much fun they're having. A sunny HDRI was used along with a shit ton of volumetric haze to tie everything together because volumetrics are the best. The waterfalls are just stock waterfall videos I got online and stretched out and luma keyed in After Effects and used as image textures in Blender. Tinted pinkish red, of course. With all of this, my computer was shugging, so rendering this scene took quite a bit, but I'm happy with the final product. And oh my god, after a few more shots and revisions, the rendering was finally finished. Compositing. Taking your renders to that extra 10%. To be honest, there was nothing too special here. I added some glow to the highlights, which kind of acts as a bloom and softens the image up. I always add some grain, speed ramping, and extra motion blur if needed, some light color grading, and we're done. Throughout the project, I used the storyboard assets and some low-res workbench renders to cut together a rough cut of the animation, so the editing came together really quickly, but the sound was where some life was really breathed into the spot. I used Epidemic Sound to gather sound effects and layer them all in Premiere. I'm always playing with the speed of sounds and adding reverb and low-pass filters to my sounds to try and sculpt the soundscape, to try to sculpt the sound and make everything gel together. One of my favorite aspects of sound design, and is always very much needed, is the environmental transitional element I create and add. There's sounds that are always a very literal representation of what's happening on screen, and then there are sounds that bring a more emotional quality. You know what I'm talking about. Those swells, that wind, moments of impact, and moments of silence. And for that, I did what I'm now coining as the mouth breather pass. Yeah, doesn't that sound nice? I literally sat in front of this microphone and just created fake swells and wind sounds in time with the video. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
and added a ton of reverb and low pass filtering over and boom, emotional quality. There's a little more emotional quality for you right there. And then after all that, I created some motion graphic text animations to go over top to bring the full talking points to life. You know, because it's a commercial and you need talking points. So I animated those in After Effects. But man, let's be honest, you don't really care. Here's the final spot. <laughs> the video. What'd you think? You like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you already click off? I bet you have. <laughs>